my way. Is this guy supposed to be the ultimate badass? Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about Mock Draft Monday. It's the Solar Eclipse Edition. This is serious. Boom. Uh, thanks for everybody that checked out the last one, the uh, the AI edition. So uh, today, we're back to the normal. Uh, we're back to the normal mock drafts presented by myself here. We're going to give you new players. All right. I want you guys to give me your mock draft in the comments. All right. Uh, that's what I want to see. I want to see smart, intelligent comments. If I see stupid stuff out there, it's getting deleted, man. I, there's, we don't have time for nonsense comments. If you don't know, if you don't want to give a mock draft, don't do one. Uh, but, you know, the stupid comments, you know, they, they, they can stick it up their ass, up their, uh, up their stank twats. All right. So let's get into it. Without further ado, here we go. Round one. Kinsley. Suma Tai, the offensive tackle out of BYU. The official combine number 6'5", 326 pounds. Power, baby. Power. This guy is the ultimate mauler. Captain of captains. BYU, BYU tackles, right? Cowboys have high interest here. He is an official 30 visit for the Cowboys. So the Cowboys are looking hard and heavy at this player here. Uh, in this mock, we did we did do a trade down. All right, we did we made a trade with the Buffalo Bills again here in this one. They don't have a third, so they gave us their two fourths. Pick one twenty eight and pick one thirty three. We'll get to those picks here in just a minute. But you know, with Kingsley, thirty four inch arms, huge huge hands, a lot of experience, man. You know, this guy has played at, at a very high level at offensive tackle. That's what you want. And uh, he'll be your tackle, and you're able to keep, you know, what, what you ideally want to do is you want to keep Tyler Smith at, at the guard position. So we move back. We get Kingsley here. Let's go on to the next pick. Round two. Junior Colson, the linebacker out of Michigan. 6'2", 238 pounds is the official scouting combine numbers for this dude here. We're talking about Junior Colson, all right? Linebackers is kind of like the defensive bread and butter here from Michigan. They put out a lot of good linebackers into the league. And this is going to be another one. Junior Colson's speciality, vision of the field. You know, he knows where to, to hit the run fits. He's got good vision. He's, he's able to diagnose and make a read on the play and make the play sideline to sideline. Um, you know, this is a guy that they can captain that linebacker core right out the gate. You know what I mean? So... He was available here in this draft. Took him. Round two. Let's go to the next pick. Round three. The next pick is Will Shipley, the running back out of Clemson. 5'11", 206 pounds. C. Mac Jr., bro. All right. The Swiss Army knife. This guy does everything. All right. High visit here with the with Cowboys. One-on-one -on -one visit. Uh, with uh, coaches, scouts here at Clemson. Cowboys have high interest here, okay? Oh, but he's not a 30 visit. Not every single pick is going to be a 30 visit. And one nugget here that has been uh, explained here, I believe it was 105.3, or it might have been Bobby Belton brought us. I forget which one. But they've made a point that under Mike McCarthy, they've been drafting outside of the 30 visits. All right, so technically, you know, they said Lamb was not one, Michael wasn't one, and Tyler Smith was not one. So that was possible that it's all smoke and mirrors with this this thirty visit list. As you can tell, it was thrown out early. You know, I, I've been saying this early in the process. This is the earliest that these names have been leaked out. So to me, I think this falls in um, right in course with that. Uh, with that, you know, that this is. Under Mike McCarthy, it's all, you know, misdirection. We saw them do this early 
you know, with the blue white scrimmage without the the names on the jerseys and this kind of stupid shit. So it's just uh, games, gamesmanship. Okay, so I would not take the thirty list by gospel, and if you do, you're a fucking idiot. All right, so. The names you'll see on here, there might be some that are on the 30 list, but you're going to see names that are not on the 30 list because that's how this team has been drafting under Mike McCarthy. All right. So you keep that in mind. All right. So that's why Will Shipley's on this list because they do have interest here. They were at that pro day. Scouts and coaches there meeting with him one on one. So, yeah, what, what I like about Shipley is he's a well rounded running back. Okay. So. Like I said, he's a Swiss Army knife. He's a he's well balanced, well versed in, in everything. Block, pass, block, protection, uh, catches the ball really well out of the backfield. Speed, four three nine, I think he ran or four three six, something crazy like that. Um, can run with power, elusiveness, balance. You cannot overlook this guy. All right, if you overlook Will Shipley, you're you're doing a mistake. And this sort of thing, all right? Oh, a white running back. I don't know about that. I'm taking this dude here, man. So round three, Will Shipley. Other running backs were already off the board, in case you're wondering. In case you're one of those little nitpicky pussies. So that's why I went with Will Shipley here in round three. Okay, eat a dick up. Let's go to the next pick. Round four. Round four, Brendan Rice, the wide receiver out of USC, baby. The bloodlines here and this is a real bloodline brendan rice can play right really good senior ball put in the work there with usc i like this guy man this guy can play and i think if you put him in the right system you you can see this 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 young man flourish 6'2 208 are the official combine numbers here for brendan rice he is a, more of a possession type of receiver kind of like his dad was a possession guy and knows how to get into the end zone. So red zone guy, possession guy, get the ball in his hands and he will sniff out that end zone. Okay. That's what this Cowboys team needs. We always talk about red zone, red zone, red zone struggles, red zone struggles. All the way going back all the way to, to Garrett, you know. So add another guy into the mix, another guy here that can push one of these other guys that are just, just hanging out, hanging on to a position. You know, I, I want to see. I want to see the number two or, or number three receiver relegated to a lower position because I want some consistency. I want some youth and I want some reliability. And that's uh, Brendan Rice here. I went with him in the fourth round. Let's go to the next pick. Round four. Here we go, baby. Joe Milton, the quarterback out of Tennessee. All right. Uh, now, Brendan Rice, he was one of the picks that we got in that trade with the Buffalo Bills. This is the Buffalo Bills' second, fourth round pick. With that one, we went Joe Milton here, the quarterback out of Tennessee. 6'5", 235 pounds, huge cannon arm, all right? He can push the ball down the field. Some of the Cowboys have been struggling with for a while now, all right? You want to get away from the dinking and dunking, this kind of like sucky shit? Big arm time, you little twats. Joe Milton, man. That he could be the one of the gems in this draft class. There's two quarterbacks that I really like here on a, on a day three. You know, throw a dart at a, at a quarterback. Uh, because I really don't think the Cowboys are going to use one early. If they did, they would have to trade up, do something wild. I don't see them doing that. I don't see them doing it at 24 uh, either. I, I don't see them going uh, Phoenix either. I, the left-handed quarterback they had a good pro day, but... I don't know if they if they go that direction, but this one here I would go with Joe Milton. This dude can play, bro. This guy's fucking badass. You need to go watch Joe Milton uh, games. Put up some numbers. Kind of reminds me of Cam Newton. Honestly, if I'm being real, this guy gets the ball, RPO action. He's gonna truck you over. Nobody wants to tackle this big ass dude, man. So give you the stiff arm. Can run. Good speed, athletic, big arm. Why not? All right. So with one of these picks here, Joe Milton, all right, develop him. You know what I mean? And see what you got. Throw him in the mix for 2025. 
let him develop but this would be a good guy to have in your quarterback room okay joe milton the third let's go to the next pick round five logan lee all right defensive tackle iowa 6'5, 281 pounds high motor guy smart player can diagnose the the, the backfield you know he'll, he'll he'll bust up plays in the back you know tackle for loss guy uh high motor you know I think at the NFL, they're going to want to add some bulk to him, you know, but this guy could be one of the guys that you put into the mix. He would be an upgrade over, you know, Golston. He'd be an upgrade over several of our, of our defensive tackles here, uh, even the, the ones that we've had here recently. So put Logan Lee into the mix. You will not be disappointed. Mike Zimmer will not be disappointed. This is the kind of player that Mike Zimmer wants. Full heart disruptive up the middle all right and that's the main thing with the zimmer defense he likes to bring that pressure from everywhere not just your outside guy not just from one freaking guy he's got to come from everywhere all right it's got to be somebody that can play the run defense as well logan lee man if, he, if he's hanging around here in the fifth round comes from a really good program we know iowa iowa so he's here in round five cowboys take him let's roll baby so the next pick round six round six jordan mcgee okay jordan mcgee is a 30 visit for the cowboys he will be a later round type of uh, linebacker and he'll be um, you know some some depth there that that you're that you lost in free agency you know so he'll give you some flex some depth there at linebacker okay out of temple temple puts out good defensive players that's what i like about temple i've always liked temple's defense it's kind of like their bread and butter. And uh, at 6'1", 228, this is somebody that you can play with, give you some depth, give you some aggressiveness, and uh, give you some special teams flex as well. So, you know, these late-round guys, throwing the motherfucking darts. Jordan McGee, late-round guy, 30 visit. Why not? Okay, let's go to the next pick. Round seven. Round seven. Okay. Rashawn Ali, the running back out of Marshall, 5'11", 206. You go back to my early draft videos, I'm one of the first guys, and I shit you not, talking about Rashawn Ali, and this was at the Senior Bowl. Other people were talking about other running backs at the Senior Bowl. I, however, this guy here, okay? Rashawn Ali, there, there's something about this one here. I say seventh round here, but the Cowboys, you know, You've got that long stretch. If they don't get that fourth round pick, you know he could go. They could you you could see him go in the, in the fifth. You know what I mean. Um, so fifth to undraft is probably is probably his range. But this is a guy that you would want in, in your backfield. So I would I would use a draft pick on Rashawn Ali. I like him. He had a great senior ball. That's really where he caught my eye. And uh, a balanced player, man. Got good feet, good vision, good balance, well-rounded running back. You know, number 22. I mean, you can guess who, who he looks up to, right? Out of Marshall, right? I like this player. He's, he's not going to outrun you. You know, he's he's got good speed, but he's, he's not going to give you the big home run. So he this is a guy that you want to give him, you want to put him into the mix. And that's exactly what I did in this this draft. I double dipped here, as you, as you can tell. I went with the speed, the well-rounded Will Shipley. That's your Tony Pollard type of guy. And then you got your other guy that can get the dirty yards for you and still move the ball down the field effectively. And that's Rashawn Ali. I do expect the Cowboys to double dip. And I think running back is the prime position. Okay, They got a bunch of placeholders right now. None of them are worth a shit if we're being 100% honest. Dowdle, Vaughn, Snoop, Connor, Malik Davis. You got to move the fuck on, bro. You got to churn that. You got to bring in some young, hungry talent. And that's why I'm double dipping at running back. So that's Rashawn Ali here. Let's go to the next and final pick. Round seven. Jacob Monk, the offensive guard center. All right, out of Duke. 6'3", 308, five-year starter. Very impressive resume, being a five-year starter out of Duke. 
Cowboys would love this player here. And I'm saying here in the seventh round, but I think more people are going to start to know about him. He, he could go earlier. Offensive linemen are, are right there with defensive linemen. You need good ones. You need good depth. You need guys that could come in and possibly compete for a position. And that's what I have here with Jacob Monk. I think this guy could be another. He could be your steal of this draft class. Good size, experience, leverage. Played in some of the big games here. Good pass protection. All right. That's what I liked about him. You watch that Notre Dame game. Jacob Monk versus that Notre Dame front. He held it down, man. But that was one of my favorite games of the year, man, to this day. You know? Um, so Jacob Monk, seventh round. Let's do it. All right, guys. So that is my mock draft of the day. Let me know what you guys think. Put your mock draft in the comments. All right. Let's let's have some let's have some productive, intelligent comments in the comment box. We're almost there, man. We're almost there to draft day, bro. But this, I think, is a solid draft. It's one of my favorite ones. Introducing new names, obviously, that you got to get familiar with. You know? I'm pretty good at putting these names out there, and then others start to jump on. Right? You see it all the time. Other people, other channels, other bloggers, they, they, they like to watch my mocks because it gives them ideas to... Uh, to go from you know what i mean to be 100 percent honest that's how this this how this game is man monkey see monkey fucking do motherfucker peace <laughs>